We're at the, uh, the scene of the uh, Sony press conference here at Gamescom. <clears throat> the music is uh, loud and obnoxious. Uh, I think that's one of the main complaints we had about the, the show, the, the awful music they had in between trailers. But other than that, a pretty strong showing here by Sony. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, let's start with the last thing that, that really, really, really did surprise me was Michel Ancel uh, hitting the stage. Uh, with his own studio, so apparently he's not working for Ubisoft anymore. Uh, he's worked a year on this title in the dark. Yeah, exactly. The title is called Wild. Uh, we don't really know a whole lot about it, except that it's some sort of big uh, exploration game. He said uh, that the scale of the game is something like Europe, actually, which is, I mean, this is massive and huge if it's true. and. Uh, we, we saw a lot of wolves, uh, we saw fighters, uh, we saw girls, uh, but we didn't, really, we didn't really have no actual idea what the game is about, but it looks stunningly beautiful and uh, Michel Ancel alone uh, should be a, a, a trademark for it becoming something really important. Yeah. Something different and I, I think it, it reminded me of No Man's Sky in that sense that this is the kind of game that PlayStation 4 has that Perhaps the competition doesn't have this kind of little bit stranger game, that, but but it sort of appeals to us in some strange way. Even though we don't know what Wild is all about, what we're going to do except for possessing animals and running around, we don't really know anything else. No, no idea. But uh, this is this is also good because it makes you curious, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing something about it uh, in the next couple of days. Maybe even having an interview with Ancel, if, if we are lucky enough, uh, then we do find out more. Yeah. Uh, there were so many games, we're going to try and hit the major exclusive ones. Uh, Children of Tomorrow. Yeah, that was the first one. Uh, it had a, a really, really nice Russian kind of topic uh, with stomping music. Uh, again, no actual idea what's, what's it all about. It looked a little like... Uh, a little like tower defense, meet action, meet shooter, uh, but it had a, a really distinct art style and uh, a really kind of gloomy, gloomy, gritty way. Um, it, it did attract me a lot. It sort of had that mixture of some some materials look really realistic, and then you had that sort of plastic mix as well. Very, very strange. Of course, Q Games, known for the Pixel Young series. So something completely different from them, not something we were expecting. So interesting to see that. And of course, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for the, the, the sort of Soviet theme thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah same here. Uh, it, it always works in a way. It, it makes you, it, it instantly makes you go. And uh, then, you, then you see the idea that there is a good game coming out of that. Another game that was announced that we got to see that's not exclusive, but it's coming first to PlayStation 4, the new Ninja Theory game, Hellblade. Uh, yeah, Tearaway, that's, uh, that's actually uh, the, the, the old Vita game. Uh, no, 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 uh, Hellblade, I was talking Hellblade. Ninja Theory. Okay. See, it's that we loud. We can't hear each other. <laughs> yeah, it's that loud. Yeah, Hellblade, uh, Ninja Theory, Enslaved. Uh, Yet again, not many information. It's uh, th they said we we get some really brutal ninja kind of gameplay mixed with uh, strong characters and uh, and a deep story. Uh, and again, uh, a really distinct art style. Uh, it looks beautiful. On Slaved is still one of my sleeper hits from back in the days. Uh, I think 2008. So high hopes for that one. Uh, they. I think they didn't say it's a, a full exclusive, but it will. Now I think it will end up being a timed exclusive for some sort. Because because the trailer highlighted that it's an independent, so it's not Sony published, but it's coming first to PlayStation. 4. I think that's how they put it. Yeah. Uh, what else did we have? Rhyme, of course, was shown a little bit more of Rhyme. Uh, that is an exclusive title, though, and it looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, beautiful. People instantly think it's Journey coming to hard, which is also coming to PS4, which we learned today. Journey is unfinished swornness. Uh, and, and I mean, this, this brings us to this whole uh, exclusive idea a little, uh, be because Sony... Uh, they also they had Dean Rocket Hall on stage saying that Daisy is coming to PlayStation 4 first, not exclusive, but 
if uh, Microsoft sticks to its policy, uh, a lot of these games uh, will stay exclusive on the PlayStation 4 because Microsoft wants these games first on Xbox or at least uh, at the same time and this won't happen. So it'll, I'll be curious to see how that goes out. Same goes for Papers, Please, which is coming to PS4 as well first. You still haven't seen any of those first seven indie titles that were on E3 uh, a year, uh, more than a year ago on PlayStation 4. None of them have been announced for Xbox One yet. Yeah. So obviously there's still some sort of some obstacles in place there still that'll mean that most of these titles will, you'll only see on PlayStation 4. Uh, Paradox announced something called Hollow Point by Rufian Games, the, the old uh, Crackdown 2 developers. Uh, what was that? Uh, Rufian Games, uh, they, they did Crackdown 2, yeah. and now they're working with Paradox on Hollow Point, the, the oh, 2D, I don't know, it's sort of a 2D deathmatch kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I didn't really. I didn't so many games. Yeah, so many games. Yeah. I actually, I must have been typing some news when that was on. Uh, I saw, I saw RuneScape that they're doing something on that as well. Uh, Hollow Point, I didn't actually pay a, a whole lot of attention to. So, I mean, there, there was a lot of those. There were they were just in quick, and then yeah. this is the game. Pop, uh, pop, yes, pop, yes. I mean, one, one really since we uh, mixed that up, but one way important thing is actually Tear Away coming to PlayStation 4 being Midi Media Molecule working on that for the past couple of months, uh, trying to tweak the experience from PS Vita onto PS4. That never actually did work quite well, so they reinvented everything. At least that's what they said. And it looks beautiful. They, they, they have uh, this, this whole paper touch uh, look uh, coming over to the PS4. They used the controller uh, and the backlight from the LED to light up the gaming world. Uh, there is a lot of interaction between the controller and what's happening on the screen. I think there's there's quite some potential uh, in that as well. Yeah, I, I, that was nice to see. Uh, I think um, that is a game that deserves a bigger audience than the PlayStation Vita. Speaking of the PlayStation Vita, there was not a lot about said about the PlayStation Vita here. Did you? Was there even one? Uh, there was some some uh, that were coming out on both, but. They, they, they did mention uh, the, the system update 2.0 uh, coming in autumn uh, and bringing, uh, bringing a couple of features in that, that also support the Vita, all that cross-play stuff uh, and PlayStation TV and game streaming and stuff that uh, that's ov obviously valid for the Vita, but no exclusive game. No. no. I think volume is coming out on, on the Vita. That was, that's... Uh one thing, uh, another game that we saw two years ago that's coming back and now it's not PlayStation Move, it's not PlayStation 3, it's actually PlayStation 4 and it looks pretty decent until dawn. Until dawn, a uh, horror game, uh, I think eight people uh, hanging hanging around together uh, in a house uh, in holiday. Uh, we, we know the Cabin in the woods. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we know the topic, it's, a, it's an old horror topic, uh, but Yet again, uh, it's 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 a good thing uh, uh, to have horror. Uh, it's a good thing to ha to to creep yourself out, and uh, that it, it did look really nice. Mm. And uh, actually, speaking of that, I I just remember there was a game shown here last year that was announced last year, Shadow of the Beast. That's doing the same thing as Until Dawn now because it's skipping over this one. So they have a lot of games, and and they really they showed a lot here. But there was still there's still stuff that we did not hear anything about and uh, a whole lot even I mean the, the the whole press conference started with just showing trailers uh, and playing music uh, showing gameplay from Bloodborne which is a PS4 exclusive yeah. uh, just en passant so yeah. they they didn't even really mention that uh, on on the press conference anymore yeah. uh, still important game still great looking game but th this illustrates how much stuff Order eight and eighty six same thing looks amazing. Uh, yeah, but I mean, just a trailer up front, the whole show. Uh, probably they feel that they're like already sort of through with that because that's coming out rather sooner than later. Uh, but still, I mean, they they have so much cooking up. Uh, it, it's actually gonna be it's gonna be pretty tough for Microsoft to fight back. One one nice thing that they talked about, and and first they had Far Cry 4, and they talked about the key to Kyra and all that stuff. That sounds nice. And they sort of said that, oh, you can do that with any game. 
unlimited yeah. if you're a PlayStation Plus member, which sort of that whole key to Kyra thing is kind of like, yeah. yeah, but now we can do it with any game and at, at any point, really. That's or or passing the controllers more like it if it's not a co-op game. Really nice feature that you know I can see a lot of people using. Yeah, totally. I mean, it, it 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 makes you save money in the end. If you have a, a good friend who has a lot of money and buys a lot of games, and, he, and he's willing to let you uh, in and share the experience, you don't really ha technically have to buy the game, as far as I understand it. Yeah. And uh, the, the the whole keys to Kyrat thing, PS4 exclusive stuff as well for Far Cry. I don't really understand how it's supposed to work. How long these keys are valid? Uh, two hours, I think. You get yeah. ten ten keys in two hours. My main concern there is like, how big a download is it to play two hours with a friend? Like, is it really worth it if it's like a... It must be a big download. Yeah, yeah. They really have to have the whole game there. So. Yeah, so. I mean, yeah, the, or at least one or two full co-op missions and that's going to be, uh, still going to be a big download. But, but, it, I mean, but it's like, it's the, the whole open world that you can play in co-op, right? I think, I think that's the case. Yeah, is it? Yeah, see, it's but, uh, 50 question. gigs or Again, something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, and, and that is, of course, something you have to think about with this, this sort of share play thing as well. How much do you have to download? Will it use some sort of streaming mechanics with the PlayStation Now? They, they announced next year for, for Europe with PlayStation Now, uh, starting out in the UK. Yeah. We'll see when it rolls out everywhere else. Uh, the beta will be starting in the UK yeah. first and then they take it from there, I guess. I mean, it's, it's still a very interesting thing. Uh, uh, and, and really interested to see how that pans out. Yeah. And one thing I'm getting this for is the, the PlayStation TV because I think it's a, it's a great idea when you have several TVs in your home just to be able to, to stream it locally, uh, your PS4 in, into your bedroom, for instance. And not very expensive. I mean, it's a 99 euro deal in, in, in Europe, uh, so that's a pretty nifty thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Was there anything we're missing out on now? I feel like we've probably glanced over half of the announcements. Or something. What? Oh yeah, yeah, Kojima. Kojima was here finally Ooh. after five years. Uh, I, I saw him entering uh, the venue together with, uh, I think, his wife and kids, and yeah, uh, they were sitting in the back, sort of in a corner, VIP corner. Yeah, re still really nice. And then he came up on stage, uh, talking Japan, uh, Japanese as usual, and uh, just he was just showing uh, the whole cardboard box uh, thing and made some really uh, childish, was it? childish yeah. jokes about uh, uh, how you can use the box, uh, attaching uh, half-naked women on it yeah. to dis to like disattract uh, soldiers. And it, it didn't really go down that well with the audience here. I think I think there was some squirming in the shares. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, this is he can pretty much do whatever he wants in my world. So. Yeah, he's he's doing his uh, big stream on Thursday, I think it is. Uh, that's when they're gonna show like this was basically old. just for fun. Yeah, yeah, it was old material from the from the E3 demo uh, and uh, just added some some nice uh, little stuff. Uh, but nothing really big. Yeah. But I mean, it's the only good. exclusive thing there that we know is probably going to be exclusive is the, the PlayStation 4 box. That's probably not going to be in the Xbox One version. No, that, that, that might not end up being in the, in the final game as well. <laughs> <laughs> you never know with Kojima. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I mean, but one thing I, I'd, I'd like to get an opinion on as, as closing down is uh, we had Microsoft before and uh, they, they did announce that. Uh, um, the, the, the new Tomb Raider game uh, is coming exclusively to Xbox One and uh, th there was some stir w within the, the Sony fan community that they don't get the game that is actually a natively Sony game. I associate it with my first PlayStation a whole lot together with Wipeout and then yet again it might end up be on the PlayStation because this whole uh, exclusive stuff is not really I mean, it's not fixed. Well, the the term like was today. exclusively in 2015, so yeah. sort of sounds like a timed exclusive and then it's coming out on more platforms. Yeah. If so, I mean, we, we don't know, but the, the, yet again, what's exclusive these days, I, I don't really understand how they... I'm still shocked that Titanfall hasn't been announced for PlayStation 4. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> So uh, I think that wraps it up. They're yeah. they're turning on the lights here, and I don't know if you could, were even a, able to adjust for that. But uh, Gamescom is kick Gamescom is kicking off, and uh, we've had a great time here at Sony's.